ready to talk to you guys. I'm showered, my hair's done. I started part of my makeup and I also painted my toes today. Awkward though, I accidentally cut my toenails too short. Does that ever happen to any of you guys when you do your pedicure at home? And now they just look like little like, Tic Tacs. Awkward, but that's not what this video is about. I wanted to do a kind of like vlog, just super chill and hang out with you guys. Over the weekend I was trying to vlog and I was just like so busy with freelance clients that like I never got to do a complete day of vlogging. So I'm taking this vlog, I'll incorporate some of those clips from over the weekend and then also just hang out with you guys today. As you guys saw, I already went through my whole morning routine, had my coffee, I got my Monday workout in. I'm so proud of myself for that. I've been trying to work out more. Um, but I also like to keep it super simple like down to just 20 minutes. Yeah, we're showered ready We're ready for the day. So I'm thinking today what I want to do is I want to possibly go to a thrift store I need to pick up a package from Target. I don't know if I'm gonna end up doing it today though We'll see and then I also have some packages coming in from Amazon and possibly one from misguided So I want to just like unbox those with you guys also Alex is off today So normally on Mondays I am only like work focused but today's Monday will be a little bit more laid back because Whenever Alex is off, I like to really spend time with him because his work hours are crazy. So I will adjust my work week or try to get more stuff done in the morning when he's off just so that way we can spend time together. I already checked my emails, so that's all done. Basically, to fill you guys in over the weekend, I have been so excited and so blessed because I've been getting way more freelance work. So I think I'm gonna enter a couple clips of me like showing you guys what I take from my freelance work and all of that. And I'll insert that clip here just so you guys can get a gist of what my weekend was like at home setup here and i have my little studio light and then this is the chair i use at home whenever i travel i use like a director's chair and i always travel with this light that's what i was telling you guys about but yeah basically this is my little setup that i like to do so i'll put like a little cup to put my brushes in I have my palette, foundation palette I've been loving, and I just kind of like lay everything out here in the order. I'm also obsessed with this little travel trash can to put like my garbage in as I go, and then I can just dump it out, disinfect it, and all that afterwards. These were the brushes I just cleaned for my previous client. So yeah, I just set everything up. But yeah, I'm sorry, I'm like awful. I didn't vlog anything yesterday, I was just so tired. And then also, I'm always my own worst critic ever. So every time I finish a makeup appointment, I leave there. No matter how many times a client tells me they love it, I like think of everything that I could have done differently. Why did I say this? Why did I do that? Should have done. And my brain just exhausts itself. So yesterday I kind of had a mental breakdown and I just like asked God, like, Lord, please help my mind to just like rest and not overthink anything because it's funny, that's the same thing I thought with the client that I did this morning. The first time I did her makeup, I was like, she hated it, thinking the worst thing ever. And then she ended up wanting to book me again. And I'm like, I mentally exhausted myself for no reason, just because I'm always like thinking the worst when it comes to my work. Thinking my client just pulled up, so we will be in touch soon. weekend is busy i want to keep today pretty chill and low-key still get work done but have time to recuperate oh yeah i also want to show you guys my little office i'm so excited about it it's helped me be way more productive this is my little desk office area that alex got me from i think it was overstock and i love it it's a nice like rich wood tone and it matches our little side table here and then he got this little like leather chair to go with it. I feel like it fits the vibe of the rest of the room really nice. So this is my little office area where now I'm able to edit. I'm also able to get schoolwork done. Hence why all these books and stuff are on here. And I really like it. It keeps me focused. And I like that it's kind of like secluded from any everything else. So I can get a lot done. But I really love this addition to our little side room. It makes it way more functional because... Honestly, we weren't using this room for much else. And now, what I think I'm gonna do, Choka, it's not time to go out yet. I'm gonna make myself another cup of coffee and I'm gonna treat myself to a pumpkin coffee because this morning I just had black coffee, which was fine, but I want, I want the pumpkin vibes. I feel like it's like so nice and cool out that I need all the fall vibes. Also guys, the reason why my face looks like kind of orange is because I put my tinted moisturizer on. I was like gonna do the rest of my makeup and then I ended up getting like too lazy so I didn't do it. So basically lately I've been trying to cut out dairy and gluten because I noticed it was causing like insane bloating in my stomach and it didn't matter like what I was eating. I just always felt super bloated and just like not good. 
I felt really lethargic and low energy. It was just really bad. So I've been trying to like narrow down what I eat, figuring out what I can eat that gives me more energy and all of that. And I came down to the conclusion that whenever I have gluten and dairy, it just like does not make me feel good. So I've been really trying to cut back on it, not eliminate it completely, but definitely cut back on the dairy and then also just minimize my gluten intake, not have like a lot of carby stuff, try to keep things low carb. Again, I never cut anything out completely because it just doesn't work so i just try to minimize i'm so excited because during this time of year i normally always have to end up getting like a dairy pumpkin spice creamer because nobody makes a dairy free one but this year i feel like all the companies have so when i saw that silk came out with a pumpkin spice almond milk creamer i was so happy it tastes so delicious I'm sure it has plenty of sugar and all that in it but it's a nice treat without having to like have all the yucky feelings that dairy gives me and then this is another treat not healthy by any means but just like a good alternative for whenever i'm craving ice cream this ben and jerry's almond milk fudge brownie ice cream is so tasty i've tried a couple of dairy free ice creams in the past and was not a fan of them at all this one is by no means healthy. It has plenty of sugar in it. It's super sweet. But for me, like once in a while when I want to treat myself to a dessert, I love a good ice cream. I just can't do like dare. This is nice to like still treat myself, indulge, but I also don't have to have that yucky bloating feeling that's gonna last like three days after I decide to treat myself to ice cream. I wanna share those with you guys just for anybody else interested. I've noticed since cutting back in that, my cramps for my period are like very minimal the first day and then after that they're gone normally i cannot sleep through the night on the first day today i was able to sleep through the night with no like ibuprofen or anything like that and then also my like flow is way lighter so i know it might be tmi but i figured it'd be helpful for any of you guys who suffer like with just like a really bad first couple days of periods maybe try cutting out gluten and dairy obviously i'm not a doctor so take what i have to say with a grain of salt but i just want to let you guys know that it helped me so possibly it could help some guys so i'm in the middle of doing my makeup i'm just doing something super natural and lightweight i already had like my tinted moisturizer on and then i went in with the Edol concealer which i have been liking i've been figuring out what product i like to use with it and I found that this concealer works beautifully whenever I set my face with my number seven transparent powder. I feel like with this concealer, I can't set it with the Derma Blend powder that I normally use when I use like more creamy concealers because this is a little bit just too mattifying. But with that number seven powder, beautiful. And then I'll like bake with either the Huda Beauty or my Maybelline Fit Me or my Hourglass powder. It just depends. Anyways, that's not why I jumped on here. Jumped on here because yesterday I went to Target and I picked up the number seven triple action finishing powder. Now I've gotten this before in a light color, but this time I got it in medium because I was watching her rouge like I always do. I love her. She keeps me so inspired when it comes to makeup. And she was saying that if you get the medium color, it's a dupe for one of the Charlotte Tilbury bronzers. I feel like Harusha's skin tone is similar to mine, so I'm hoping that this will work as a bronzer. Now, this does look very light, but she said, and I've heard before that the Charlotte Tilbury bronzers are very um, sheer. So let's see. I'm also excited to try this as bronzer because this formula is really like smooth, buttery, and hydrating. I don't like it to set all over my face because it is still a little bit too hydrating for my skin. But as a bronzer, I feel like it could be really pretty. I'm gonna use like a denser brush so it can show up more. Okay, so it gives like a really, really light wash of color. If you're similar to my complexion or lighter, I think this could work. But I feel like if I had a tan, this would not work for me. It's really pretty because it will like smooth the skin. I love the way it goes on. I honestly think I'll keep this in my makeup kit for like more fair skin clients too. I'm gonna finish up the rest of my makeup and then I'll also look at my skin in like natural lighting because I have one of my studio lights on and that will always help me get a better idea on how like I like the finish of products. So I'll be back. I just wanted to share that with you guys. All right, so I just pulled up to Goodwill. I was in a thrifting kind of mood today so we shall see what we will find. I'm in the mood to look for like some home decor pieces, maybe a couple trousers. Whenever I come to thrift, I like to have an idea of what I'm looking for. That way I can like keep an eye out for it. I feel like if I come in here aimlessly, I won't find anything, which is kind of what I'm doing today. But I am hoping to find some like cute pots and stuff and then like maybe trousers and blazers. 
So let's get to thrifting. <laughs> Goodwill. Um, it wasn't too bad. I found some stuff. I was just like uninspired. Like, I don't know where I wanted to place stuff in my home because I did find a couple of cute pots that I think I could have made look really nice, but I just didn't know exactly where I was gonna plan on like putting them. And I have this thing now because I did it for so long where I hate getting things to just get it. I used to do it all the time in the past, get things just because it was cute, but not have like a specific place or anything in mind, and then I'd end up getting rid of a bunch of stuff or just having too much clutter so instead i got this book i got it as a coffee table book because when you take off the cover it's just like a really simple white book with um gold writing on the side i really liked so i got that i don't have any like really big coffee table books like this and i need some for either my bedroom or even in my beauty room i got this really cute leather jacket by dkny it was 13 bucks so not a bad deal and yeah it's just like a classic brown leather jacket that i think would be perfect in the fall time so i'm gonna wash this when i get home and then Alex is still sleeping so i'm just gonna end up going about my day without him i feel bad but i don't want to wake him up so i think now i'm just gonna head to target to pick up an order that i placed and I think that's it. Is there anywhere else I wanted to go? I see. Hopefully, Alex is awake by then. But yeah, thanks for. Did you really go to Target? If you came in for one thing and didn't end up in the dressing room. Alright, guys. I just left Target, and Alex finally called me. Finally woke up. So I'm gonna go meet up with him. We're gonna have like lunch and it's like perfect timing because it's around happy hour time. So we'll probably share some half off appetizers and just have like a little lunch date. So I'm gonna go pick him up and then we'll do that and hang out. I probably won't vlog it because Alex goes through these phases where he just hates being on camera and then other times he like thrives on it. So probably won't be vlogging, but I will show you everything that I got today when I get home later. So stay tuned. Guys, so I just got home. So initially in this vlog, I wanted to incorporate hey Choka, what I would make for dinner, but Alex and I ended up eating a good amount at the place that we met up to for lunch. Like we got wings, we got loaded tater tots, and we just like ate a bunch. So neither of us are hungry. So I was like, all right, are you cool with like cereal for dinner in case we get hungry later? And he was like, yep. So change of plans for dinner tonight. But I figured since I won't be showing you guys what I'm cooking on Amazon, but I selected like the free prime delivery day where you get like a credit if you wait a little bit longer and everything comes in um, smaller boxes. So I honestly forgot what I got. <gasps> Ooh, I oh my gosh, I wanted to do this. Maybe I'll do this before I end the vlog. So I forgot, I got this sugar wax hair remover kit and I got this to use on my eyebrows because I feel like my eyebrow hairs grow back so fast and my eyebrows, future Janelle here, just jumping on to warn you guys. If you guys end up picking up that wax kit, just be careful because your girl waxed off half her eyebrow. Like I literally accidentally took off a chunk of hair right there. So sad. My eyebrows are never like in a nice shape. And yeah, I saw reviews on this. They seem pretty good. You can use this on the legs or any other part of the body, but I got this to Who's use for my tell brows. Who so was I'm gonna really tell excited to see if this will actually work for me. And it's by the Veep brand. I want to say this was like 8 or 11 bucks. Then I restocked up on my Honest Beauty Vitamin C Serum. They switched up the box a little bit. I hope that it's the same thing. But basically, I love this one. And then instead of restocking it last time, I got the Naturium one, which I did really like. But I do miss this one. I feel like this one just always has my skin looking right. So... Can't wait to try using this again. And then I got two lip liners by Maybelline. These I was inspired to get because of Tati. I swear her videos. The fact, now that she's back on YouTube, I'm like, oh my gosh, I got, I got two. Are you kidding me? Any of you guys want to win a free lip pencil, let me know in the comments down below. If you make it this far in the video, I will mail this lip pencil out. So I got the maybelline color sensational lip pencil in the shade magnetic mauve and then i also got it in the shade totally top so magnetic mauve i was inspired to get because of her rouge and then 
totally toffee. I was like inspired to get because of Tati. Ooh, that looks pretty. This is what totally toffee looks like. Just like a really pretty neutral warm brownie tone. This color is like right up my alley. And then did I get two of those? Yeah, so I got two totally toffee. So if you guys like this color, just comment down below and I will mail this lip pencil out to one of you guys. Just cut. And then I also got this shade Magnetic Mauve. Okay, so then let's see what Magnetic Mauve looks like. Ooh, that's pretty. This is Magnetic Mauve. It kind of looks like Maxor. I just tell you guys when I swatch these, they like glide on like butter. They're so pigmented. So I'm excited. I think I want to do like a full drugstore video for you guys. All right, so that's all the stuff that I got from Amazon. I did show you guys the stuff that I got from the thrift store. I got this ginormo coffee table book that I think I either want to put on my little entry table right behind me, that blue one, or in my master bedroom. Like you can't go wrong with a big book like this. And it's also just very interesting and pretty to look at. Do not sleep on your thrift store for good, pretty coffee table book. Then I also got the leather jacket. Oh my gosh, I can already tell I'm gonna love this. I'm gonna stand up so you guys can see it. How freaking cute that is. Hold on, do you guys see how adorable this is? I love how far down it comes, how it kind of like tapers in. This is so cute. I'm gonna look at it in the mirror. Hold on, I'll be right back. So happy with this purchase, and it's like a really rich espresso brown, too. I cannot wait to wear this in the winter and as it gets cooler in the fall time. Only $12.99. Now, if I were to get that from like Zara or Express, I definitely would be pay paying well over a hundred. And then when I went to Target, I just picked up a couple of Thing. So the first thing I picked up was this brush by the brand Conair and the reason I picked this up was for whenever I slick back my hair I was watching Courtney Shields and uh, If I can remember the name of the influencer, I will leave it on the screen But she was basically doing Courtney Shields hair on like an Instagram story and she used this brush and like she did it in the most slick back beautiful style ever and I was like I need a brush for that I have so many flyaways so I need a good brush to just slick back my hair whenever I don't want to style it. And the girl swore by this brush. It was only like $9. So I saw that they had it available at Target. I set up an order to pick up. And I'll let you guys know how I end up liking it. It feels really nice. It's like firm but still has like movement to it. I excited about that. And then the second thing that I pick up, picked up wasn't really that fascinating. I don't even know if they were these lashes, but I did a client's makeup and she ended up bringing her own pair of lashes, but I was just obsessed with how they looked. And I remembered that they were Ardell Faux Mink Lashes, but I just couldn't remember the exact style. So when I saw that Target had like the Faux Mink Wispies, I figured I would give those a try because I do like the original Wispies. So I figured the Faux Mink would be just as good. And then the best part about it too was that they had like 20% off of their lashes and mascaras. And they also had 20% off of hair tools. So that's why I picked those two up. There was a couple of other things that like I tried on that I was interested in getting. But nothing like I was super drawn to. So I ended up only leaving with my order pickup. But yesterday I did go to Target. And I want to show you guys the things that I did get yesterday. So they have these little like mini candles here. This one is in the scent Hearth side flannel it smells so clean and fresh these things are strong i lit them this morning the smell just took over my entire downstairs and these are only three dollars i think that they're so cute and they come in these really nice glass containers they had like green ones they had like a brown glass container and then they also have an orange one so i also got a like pumpkiny scent that i have upstairs in my bathroom that one smells so good and again it came in this cute little container so it looks perfect in my little shelf that i have in my bathroom so that's the name of it and it's only three bucks if you see this at your local target get it and then this second candle that i got from target i'm so excited about because it smells just like one of my favorite bath and body works candles and it's in the sh i almost said shade it's the scent coconut campfire it's like this really big mumbo jumbo candle it smells almost identical to Marshmallow Fireside by Bath and Body Works. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I like want to light this right away. So the reason why I don't want to light this right away is because scents like this, I typically 
perfectly correlate to Christmas time because that's normally when I light Marshmallow Fireside by Bath and Body Works. But like I'm trying to ease my way in. Like I feel like I jumped into fall so soon. September 1st, I was like, it's fall time. And now I'm already like ready for Christmas. Like I went to Home Goods and there was Christmas decorations everywhere and I literally almost bought so much stuff. And I was like, let me slow my roll and enjoy this time of year. I feel like my problem is, is I always rush through things and instead of just like calming down and really embracing the season that I am in. So that's why I'm hesitant on lighting this, but it smells so good. That's that. So that's pretty much all the interesting stuff that I got from Target. It's like a Marshalls slash home goods. So from the Marshalls section, I got this really pretty sweater. And it has really nice balloon sleeves. Very lightly ribbed. It feels really soft quality. Feels really nice on the skin. And the best part is, is that it was only $16.99. So you really cannot beat that for a really nice feeling sweater. Got it in a size, I think this is a small, which I normally size up with my sweaters, but I wanted one that I would be able to wear with like jeans and stuff. Let's see, how does that look guys? Oh, that's cute. I really love the sleeves on this mainly. I like how like far down the tight part on the sleeve is. Gives a really pretty effect. So this is definitely really cute. So then the next thing that I got was a really cute little fall mug because I realized that I have so many Christmas mugs, so many regular mugs, but I have no fall mugs. How cute is this little mug right here? So it looks like this. It has I thought that this would be so cute to have my coffee in the mornings, but then I could also just leave it out as decoration just on my kitchen countertop. And I just thought that that was so cute. And it was only $5.99. Last couple things that I got were these candles. The first one that I got, this isn't the same one. Hold on. So it's bad when I'm like looking at my old video recommendations, trying to remember what I liked. And so I was like trying to go back to refer to an old video where I talked about one of my favorite fall candles, but it wasn't loading in store. And this one looked really similar to it, but I honestly don't even think that this is the right one. It's not the right one. Dang it, now I want that candle. But I got this one. It's just a pumpkin spice candle by the brand sand fog i mean it's definitely it still smells good still smells very pumpkin-y not to mention this candle is humongous and i have had candles before by this brand sand and fog and they do last a long time and smell really nice i got that one and then i also got this one that smells just like mahogany teakwood by bath and body works and this is just in the scent teakwood i also just love like the color and the texture on it it literally smells identical to mahogany teakwood and it's just, again, a nice big jumbo candle. Both of these were $14.99. I kind of wish I would have only gotten this one and then gotten the candle that I actually want is by the brand Bloom and Prosper and it's the pumpkin candle. But yeah, I think I'm gonna wrap up this vlog here. I'm gonna keep you guys posted on how this little waxing eyebrow thing works. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and watching this video. I love you all so much. I pray that you all stay safe. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more content like this. Subscribe and hit the notification bell and follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I'm literally so active on there whenever I'm not posting on here. All right, bye guys. Love you.